Uh, welcome back to CI Living. Today's viewer questions are a good variety and it involves Alexa. Yeah. Well, let's ask your meteorologist, chief meteorologist, Kevin Lighty joins us. All right, Kevin, oh, no. should we dive right into these? Or should oh, we no. ask Alexa? Oh, hold on here. Everybody's Alexas are going off of their home right now because we're saying Alexa. <laughs> Alexa. Is your, is your Alexa doing that right now? Spinning around? Okay. You probably would. We've got, we've got some good questions. Let's, yeah, you want to start with Linda? Uh, yeah, let's go. Linda, what do we got here? Is it true that clouds weigh 1.1 million pounds? Alexa told me this. <laughs> is Alexa right? Well, I mean, if Alexa says so, then it's got to be right, right? Yeah. Um, in this case, she's right. Really? She's right. That's how no much they way. weigh. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Here we go. I know, right? Close up on her face. She's like, <laughs> um, I'm not emoji. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, it is. Her mind blown emoji. Yes. Uh, clouds weigh, a typical cumulus cloud weighs over a million pounds. How did they find that out? There is a way to do this, okay? Okay. They, they measured. Um, so clouds are made up of water droplets, okay? Millions and millions of water droplets, okay? Hmm. So they measured. What is the weight of that water droplet? Multiply it out. You know, um, you can take the, the space of the cloud, but you know how big it is, and do the math and figure it out. Figure it out. Mm. 1.1 million pounds, a typical cloud. Now, some of the bigger storm clouds weigh even more than that. But even just a typical cloud, 1.1 million pounds. Now you're probably saying, okay, uh, it's really heavy. Uh, how does that stay up in the air? Yeah. Right? How is that up there? Well, and then what does 1.1 million pounds of water, cloud water, look like? A cloud. <laughs> like, when it falls, though, it's definitely not that So does cold. it weigh less as it rains? So the precipitation as it falls, it's hard for us to um, uh, kind of, you know, have the concept of this in our mind, but a cloud actually spans, like, miles. Okay. You know, many miles across the sky. So it's distributing that weight across a very large area. And so, yeah, eventually when it rains, you know, the little water, water droplets come down. It's dropping a lot. You ever picked up just like a gallon of water? Yeah, I mean, that's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. Imagine that over, you know, tens and 20 and 30, 40 oh, miles man. over every single inch of land. It's very heavy. But it's the reason that the clouds stay up is because the air, you know, the air that is around us, it has weight too. And so the, there's a weight of the air. We measure that with barometric pressure. The weight of the air around us is heavier mm. than what the cloud is. So the cloud oh. floats on top of the surrounding air. That's why it's up there. It doesn't fall because okay. it's like dens it's, you know, the density thing, right? You yes. Know, like density. Yes. yes. Volume. <laughs> I know. Yes. Well, well, I'm just worried that we're not going to get to the other questions because that was a very thorough Well, these other ones are pretty easy. Oh, okay. Was, yeah, I feel like I could go on that one for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There's so much they to it. Okay, number okay. two. Here we go. What is the highest dew point ever recorded in the continental U.S.? So, right. of course, we talk about the dew point uh, number a lot. It kind of helps us kind of gauge what it feels like outside when that number is really high, it's really muggy. So that's usually like the 70s for us here. 70s, like 80 here is like, muggy. whoa, like mm -hmm. tropical. Uh, so the record is actually a 90 degree dew point. Uh, you want to guess where? Where is it kind of I'm going to say humid. Florida. Close. Uh, Louisiana. There you go. Oh, New look at you, girl. My family's yeah. from New Orleans, and oh. anytime I go there, my hair curls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> lot I of, know. A lot of humidity down there. Wow. So at the uh, Naval Air Force Base down there in New Orleans, they hit 90, which is just... Uh, How I long mean, ago? Oh, <sighs> Long time? You stumped me. I don't know. I can't remember the year. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just super muggy down there. And so 90, that would be just wild to have. Yeah, it'd be Yikes. a hot day for me. Uh, I wear my hair sure. curly Every all day. the time. You would walk out and immediately start <laughs> yeah. to sweat. Okay, Yikes. final question. How old do you have to be um, to be taking the storm spotter training class from Melissa Kay? So there is a storm spotter training class that the National Weather Service does. Anybody can go take these. Uh, there, no age limit? There's really no age limit. You can go and learn and and, um, become a storm spotter. Now it's a little harder to uh, storm spot when you're uh, under the age of 16 and you can't, can't drive. drive uh, <laughs> but you can learn and go with mom and dad or grandma and grandpa and, uh, and learn. So you have those spotter classes. They usually do those in the spring. No age limit. Anybody can go and do okay. it. Okay. There you go. Well, very good. Thanks, yeah. Kevin. I feel very little, interesting. Feel a little smarter after today. I know. I, I did am. too. I did too. All right. Well, if you have a question, no worries. You can ask them. Ask Kevin. There's a link on his Facebook. You can tweet him, email him, do all of those things. Give us some questions to answer next week.